There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this gargantuan clash, but now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle no matter who you support. Two high-level sides ready to go at it. The game is live in its entirety, only on EA TV next. And hello from the Heldenstadt, as it's known, the City of Heroes. The venue is the Red Bull Arena. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason, it's Germany versus the Netherlands. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And play halted, free kick given. And that's a really excellent free kick from that position. Well, how unlucky was that? Just look at his technique. He strikes it so well. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Emre Chan in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today, Gundogan. And there go. It is the ideal opening. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be De Jong Ake has it that's the kind of shielding play you expect from him a tremendous vision they've given it away What can they do from here? De Jong. Strong play here. Looking for someone to play it to. And Kimmich puts his body on the line. Rudiger. And credit. He's in behind. Oh, it was there for him. Well, it's not a good finish, is it? That was a glorious opportunity. Gundogan now with Kimmich Germany in a position of menace Gnabry there it is turn to the good now and that gives them a buffer Let's have another look at this. Sane does so well to pick out the right pass here. It's absolutely perfect. And Muller's finish is excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Getrauda. The Netherlands get the throw in. Simons. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Rudiger. Emre Can now.
failure to keep it there from Gundogan and that's very good refereeing to let the play flow Rudiger and now here's Henrichs Germany unable to hang on to the ball Dumfries and as a play it goes throw in coming up here Zule Sané Germany pushing forward with options available. Well, it could be on for him here. Germany with the ball once again. Gakpo. And space to exploit, maybe. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Müller. Zane has it. And I must say, a promising avenue of attack favoured by Leroy Zane. Well, fair play to him. He took it on, but off target in the end. doesn't get away with it free kick given oh really hit with venom and off the woodwork well that's a great shot he just hit it with such power I'm not sure the keeper would have got that you know Okay. Here's Blint now. Gakpo. Daily Blint. Blint couldn't keep it. Options in the middle. Well, out of play. Under pressure. Disappointing day at the office for Memphis. Well, he has to find space in more dangerous areas. He's such a good player around the box, but today he struggled to get on the ball, and that's one of the reasons they're losing here. Musiala. Sané. Thomas Müller might fancy this one. It comes to nothing in the end. Almost at half-time, and the making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The passing's been sharp, the movement from the front players has been excellent, and the finishing has been clinical. They will certainly be happy going in at half-time. The cross is on. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Yeah. 
Can he get them level? And still an opportunity. Now their hopes rise as they win a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, it has come to nothing. Well, the referee indicates that we've reached the halfway mark here at the Red Bull Arena. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. And the ball is moving again here, with Germany looking to build on what was a positive first-half performance. Benjamin Henrichs. High-quality defending. And now here's Henrichs. Rudiger has it. Danger averted, well read. What's he going to do here, Müller? They might be able to get in now. There it is, two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly, and what a clinical finish this is from Sane. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Virgil van Dijk good tackle and the attack continues with Müller dragging it forward but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end he have tried it and there it breaks down but credit to the defence beautiful pass Sané Cross fired over, and the no-nonsense clearance. That is how to apply the pressure. Fine work from Germany to win back possession. And quick thinking defensively. Frankie de Jong. Here's Blint now. Martin de Roon. Dumfries. Teammates in the middle. And the ball sailing over everyone in the centre. Wonderful chance. Real defensive resilience. Gets in the way once more. And that was a very fine read. Frankie de Jong. And Müller has it now. It's a promising position, you've got to say. And it could well be Joshua Kimmich. And he knows what he's doing defensively. Dumfries. A very timely interception. Dumfries. And the shot. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Into the final 20 minutes. Accurate enough from Gundogan. The pie. 
committed challenge. Oh, it might be. It's gone in. And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Rudiger. Fifteen minutes left for play. De Jong. Timely intervention. Emre Can. This is Müller. And return to Can. Opportunity. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Ake. Here's Blint now. Nathan Ake here. Gertrauda. Well, getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. The fans are driving the players on here. Surely they're going to hang on now. Zuller. Benjamin Henrichs. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Ake. Müller. Oh, he looks threatening. Müller! In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then Muller's finish is brilliant. He strikes the ball so cleanly and gives the goalkeeper absolutely no time to react. It's a really good goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Gertrauda. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Gunduan. And the final whistle. The big story here. Germany have prevailed. Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, you might say he's a bit unorthodox, Thomas Müller, but my goodness, he's so very effective, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.